Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for dropping by today. It is Monday the 22nd of February and I'm just taking a walk through town and on the prom and really where my feet take me. It's a nice day to film. Very little wind and lots of blue sky. So, let's go. The sea looks beautiful today. I can sit from here. But oh, I'm staying on this side for now. And I'm going to take a walk down the prom and past the tower. And then we'll properly head on into town for a bit. See where the spoons are. I miss weather spoons, which is weird because I only ever go there for a treat, something like once a year. I'm not really somebody who eats out often or really goes out often. In fact, I hardly ever go out. So you can see the Blockwood Tower dungeon. Ten live actor shows. One exciting ride. That's something I definitely want to do this summer. And they also want to go in the tower and go up to the top and take loads of photographs and do videos from the glass floor. Somebody's in there actually. Can you see it from here? Can I zoom in enough so you'll be able to see? Somebody inside. They actually look like they're kneeling on the floor and taking photographs. So it'd be kind of funny if I'm zooming in on them and they're zooming in on me at the same time. They could be cleaning, of course. When I'm filming, I can't always see clearly what I'm filming because. My eyesight's really, really bad, close up, and I can't wear my reading glasses while I'm walking because then that will mess up with my distance vision. So I kind of just have to put up with poor eyesight and poor close up vision as I'm walking. So sometimes it's kind of difficult to see clearly what's on my little camera viewing screen. We're in Victoria Street now. You can see Poundland on that side. That used to be Lewis's department store. And on this side we obviously have the beautiful tower building itself. Underneath there is Harry Ramson's world famous fish and chips. Around the corner is the very sadly recently closed KFC. I don't know what that is going to be. There you can see Boots. I don't actually remember Boots being anything other than Boots, but if you remember if that building has been anything else, please let me know. There is the health rack. Closed. And the shops on the side there, where that boutique is, that used to be Adams, or one of these shops did. A little shop that sold baby clothes. I used to go in there all the time when my kids were little. There's the Great Smiths, or I should say the empty shop that used to be the Great Smiths. You know, years ago, Great Smiths was 
a great shot. I'm not saying it wasn't great at the end, but years ago, you could get anything from there. You could buy games, toys, CDs, DVDs, videos. You could get pretty much any kind of school supplies that you wanted. And the downstairs where they had all the paperback books, they'd have a little bean bag so you could just sit down and read. Not that you ever did that. I did have friends who did that though. I had friends who would say they would go down there for a couple of hours every day and just read the paperback books. I kind of found that a little rude because if I was buying a paperback book, I would never ever buy one that had any slight markings on the spine. See the wedding chapel down there on the prom? Then the Jews, jeweler, that is closed. That used to be a little tanning place, I think, for a while, that. The shop there on the side. That's iguanas there, that's close. Up there it says Phil Winston's Theatre Works College Agency. Years ago that used to be the job centre. Burton's Buildings. And if you wanted to get a job back then, all you did was you went to the job centre. There was a massive wall with tons of postcards on it with all the jobs and job descriptions and what, they, what qualifications and what kind of person they wanted and you found, you look on the wall, pick a few postcards up for the jobs you wanted, you'd take them to the person on the desk and they would set you up with an interview. So it was pretty easy to get a job back then and I think it was also a little bit easier if it was a girl as well because Definitely for me, when I was around 14 and 15, when the summer holidays started and I decided I wanted a summer job, I would just be, I'd just say to my mum, oh, I'm going to get a job today. She'd go, all right, then see you later. And I'd go out and I'd just dress up really nice and smart. And I'd simply ask in every single cafe and B&B and little hotel and guest house, in gift shop and what have you, I'd be like, hi, do you need anyone for the summer? And eventually somebody would just say yes. And if you asked enough people, you could always come back with a job. I mean, it wouldn't be the fanciest job in the world, you'd be washing dishes or making beds, but it'd be a job. Oh. And just to deviate from that for a second, you've got the mitre, established 1902. Welcome to the smallest pub of Blackpool and Historic Inn. This is West Street here, what I'm on now. And on this corner here, there's a Westburns, the Leighton Rakes, that one is called. Yeah, but going back to finding jobs, it was pretty easy to get one but I don't imagine the boys had the same look back then because I think if you were like a 14 15 year old girl and you're going into loads of cafes saying oh do you need any waitresses do you need anybody to wash plates do you need anybody to make beds you were more likely to get a job if you were a girl asking rather than if you were a boy asking it shouldn't have been the case but it definitely was the case. And here we are now on Market Street. Got the town hall building is there. Got the town hall up there. If I zoom in on the date, you can see it says there 1896. Look at that. 1896 this building was built. If we look here, you can see how beautiful these windows look. I've been in there. 
I've been in the town hall quite a few times. I'm not positive that was the room I went in, but I have been in a room in the town hall with nice big windows. We went to a reception because some of the athletes from the swimming club where I coach at, they, it was a few years ago now, quite a lot of years ago, they qualified to some really high ranking competitions and the coaches and the athletes were all invited to a posh reception at the town hall and it was really nice and we got to look around everything it's really cool up there I'm going to take a look now at the new hotel there you can see the front there you can see the clock on the top and with this fantastic view I think I'm going to finish this video so I'm going to say thank you so much for watching, please leave me a like and a comment and please subscribe and I will see you all very soon in the next video, goodbye.